Yeah. Welcome, welcome one and all once again uh, to another edition of uh, To The Point for Friday. It's the 21st day of January 2022. Welcome. Uh, wherever you're at, uh, you're just uh, tuning in. You're probably via... Uh, GBN TV, good morning to you. Those of you via our social media platforms, whether it's YouTube or Facebook, uh, good morning. I'll try my best to grab your comments this morning via Facebook. So I've uh, kept sort of logged in to pretty early this morning. And I've been told that I don't take care of you folks there. Uh, so I'll try my best to make sure I take care of you folks there this morning. And don't forget your phone calls are welcome. It's a bit of an open line today. So share your thoughts or what's happening, uh, whatever is, of course, on your mind. And uh, it's, it's just been there upon and that for a wee bit. You, you want to get it off. You want to get it off. Uh, you want the nation to know. Uh, probably you have an idea that could, of course, make this nation a whole lot better. Uh, maybe some information you want to share with the authorities that they may not be paying attention to. Or something is happening in your community. And uh, it's probably of a positive influence, per se, in your community. And uh, you want to share that this morning. Uh, that certainly will be welcome. Uh, the phone number you can call is 435-2041. Uh, That's 435-2041. And uh, I see we already have a caller, of course, who is about to chime in pretty early. Yes, off the bat, we would say. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Beagle. How are you doing, sir? I'm blessed. Yes. So. Now, Council River Road, the, road, the Project River Road. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a main road in any case. Eh? The most popular road, I think, after Ganesh is, is River, River Road. River Road. So, you're talking about the issue with River Road there, right. you know? Mm -hmm. I feel the international first thing, first thing the international did with was repair all them drainage first. Mm -hmm. First thing you had to do, build them drainage. Open them wide. Maybe if you could be able to put culvert, put culvert. They got to build Congress structure, put Congress structure, and pay the road good. Also, when you pay all the drainage now, then you go to the wall, to the, to the river. So the, the wall comes above the drain one time. Now, when the water is circling, you can see what went there, what took place on the slide and the, the, the thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the mind the road, you dig the, 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 the river to build to build the wall. The road build with mud. So we do it by the drain, they skip the wall, they skip for, you do a part of the wall coming home, steal you to a part. Then they skip you go down quite down by post the mark. And it's still the drain untouched. We pay the drain and and and, and, and tap it up with the wall one time. So we gonna pass all the time. That's the whole problem in the road, you know. Alright. A so, drain is the problem, you know. So you're prob you thinking that the the approach towards uh, what they do in should be different. So do, it shouldn't should be skipping no part of the road at all to go no way down the road. All right. It starts right. from still come wrong, completely road completely. Open the drain, dig it up, put back a new drain, a bigger drain, if I put culvert and then fix it up and then we one is smooth. That's all you know. I understand. But all you know, all bands I would only good. You know, but you know engineers have their way of doing things. Yeah, I mean, they are the they are the professionals. Oh, oh, we oh, oh, close were completely for a little while, but they were open already. By the time, time I went down there for the past weeks, I went nobody in any case. I said that drain might fix already, but I didn't do it. When is the last time you visited the area? About, about two weeks now. Two weeks ago. Well, there are a lot of work that has been done within the last two weeks. You yeah, understand? Yeah, but the, so drainage, the, the only problem was to pass in the road was the drainage. The drainage. That's the only problem. One drain was the problem. All right. Well, well, drain. I went to Monday yesterday. For the first time from since 2018, I went to Monday in December 18, when they, when they would have the slide and thing in Monday. Mm hmm I was like yesterday and it thing real gone wrong to, to it was now. Okay, okay, okay. But if if you go if you come in and take it all this step from December eighteen when they would slide at the November December. Mm hmm And they went January they walk January month. They also would have saved, some also have saved it. Right. Alright. But, but this past times and the rainfall and it slide and it's garbage and it's don't go in, don't go in, don't keep on. I wouldn't have wasted the house on them all they was all gone. All right, man. Yeah, slide up and thing. It's so sad in any case, you know. I pray that the person who built it up by insurance. I went, I went over there, I went to the house and I went up in 2018, December. And I did picture as this permission and the, I go in the back of the farm and I demand property at the house and I do pictures in the back of the, at the river there. Mm -hmm. At the, um, at the slide. All right. When I go back yesterday, I see the house going on. I say, whoa, it's sad, boy. All right, I cool. There, there was insurance in any case, you know. But it's time to go and get a work done, man. Well, I'm time. assuming it will be worked on pretty soon. All right, yeah, we, we were told that. Get up for the engineers. There is a lot. All we right, Kola. Mr. Zublin is an international man in, in, in the Mangle. Zublin is an international worker. See you as land. He could do anything on the land for you. He will tablet Oli. 
they must go see man. But it's so sad for that. All right, caller, thank you once again. Very All right, man. So that caller sharing his view on, of course, the, the issue with the road and river road. And uh, he also said he went up to the mall in the area and he, he took a, a look at that. And uh, I guess he sharing his, his thoughts there. Hey, good morning. How are you? Hello. And uh, let me get that caller in. Caller, good morning. Yeah, good morning, man. How are you? I am doing great. What about you, sir? Concern, well, I'm not doing so well anyway. Okay, but, uh, well. My concern, Would you get uh, your radio lowered just a little bit for us? I'm hearing a little feedback here. All right. All right, so have, have, uh, all right let's go. Let's go. Tell me. What's, yeah, my what's, concern is mm -hmm. I'm a farmer. I've been farming all of my life. I'm almost 70. Yeah. Problem is, I unfortunately got burned two years, three years ago. And I lost my right leg, so I'm in a wheelchair. Okay. I did ask, all right, as a matter of fact, I wrote, I should say, the Minister of Agriculture, my good friend Peter Davis, to look into a bit of road where my lands are located because, you know, Fidia Lassini and all sorts of things. But I did spend X amount of dollars in 2016-17 as a loan that I got to refurbish the, those lands. And the road is very, very, very bad. And uh, that has been so for years. I must say thanks to uh, Pauline Andrews if she's around, if she's hearing, because she was instrumental in the 80s, late 80s, to have opened that road or redesigned or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's good. But since then, till now, that passages of Ivan and all of the heavy rains and whatnot, these roads have gone you know, to the to the dogs. Maybe. Anyway, I wrote this gentleman a letter. I introduced myself to him to the fullest, and I let him know exactly my concern and my need because I I don't like to see all this amount of thousands of dollars that I invested years ago. I mean, go down the drain all because of roads. So, you know, again, as I said, I don't own a four-wheel drive vehicle. I, I, I can hardly drive for myself. And as a matter of fact, I can't really go in there, but I can supervise and, and have the land, you know, in the best of the way it is. It should be. All right? Uh, you, so if, you don't mind, if you don't mind me asking, where is your, the, the lands or that property of yours located? Are you there with me, caller? I guess he uh, has uh, tapped out there a little bit. Missed out in terms of telling me exactly where the, the lands or property of his is uh, located. And uh, probably we'll get the necessary assistance. It's to the point for Friday here on uh, K105. And, uh, of course, uh, I'm encouraging you to, to share your thoughts this morning. Uh, something may be on your mind, a particular issue in your area. We had callers already talking about road situations. And, there, uh, of course, in communities that they, they may have visited. Or even in their own community, we, the last gentleman was talking about uh, the roads in his property. Good morning, caller. How are you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing, at the beginning, fairly all right. Fairly no all right. major problem. Mm -hmm. as, you, as you are aware, or as you know, everybody seems to have some problem. Some have money problems, some have health problems, and even the country have money problems, some have health problems too. Anyhow, let me tell, see what I intend to see. Now, I have looked into um, different government, whether it's Greenland government or um, St. Lucia, Barbie Rose, I am trying to analyze situation in the world. And when I look at what is happening, every leader is supposed to have a strategy in handling the people. Um, Dr. Keith Mitchell has his own strategy. Um, um, Liam Mitchell should have his own strategy. Um, so um, the lady Matley had a strategy and she used it. And she didn't inform the people her strategy. She used it and she was successful. Um, what should I say? Theoretically, she was successful because she won the election landslide victory. Do you all expect Dr. Keith Mitchell to tell you his strategy if he's holding election soon, two months, three months, six months, nine months?
to me, if he did that, then he, he has a tendency to put out his, um, his thinking. If I were him, I would put out my thinking at the very last moment, maybe six months in advance or two months as the, as the lady in Barbados did. And consequently, I will certainly win. Because I would be catching you all with your pants down. Um, the other Mitchell, to some extent, he could win, so long as he has his strategy. But one of the strategies he said in the beginning was his catering, well, more so for the youths. Do the youths what? The youths are interested in what is happening. Who really vote is the, um, the eligible people, or as they would say, the old people. They're concerned about the country okay. all over the world. And consequently, Dr. Kit would catch us with our pants down. And then he obviously he would be able to rule for another five years or ten years. So I don't expect him to tell you or us when he would call an election. But my belief is called soon. How soon is soon? I don't know. Soon for some people might be six years. It might be two months, it might be three months, but I know it's soon. Okay, Take cool. my word for granted and you'll see what you see what I see. Thank you, Caller, for your info that you shared this morning. Thanks once again. Hey folks, it's open line this morning. Share your thoughts on uh, to the point here. Uh, on GBN uh, radio and television, folks, uh, K105 and GBN TV, all social media uh, platforms, uh, whether you're viewing via Facebook or you're viewing us via YouTube. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. And uh, just, just share your thoughts this morning. Open line. It's Friday, uh, the 21st day of January, folks, and uh, pretty, pretty uh, busy week so thus far. And uh, you got probably have lots on your mind that you want to let out. And I'm giving you that opportunity this morning. Good morning. How are you? Yes, good morning, sir. Good morning. Oh, I see, good morning. Yes. Oh, I see the thing, the situation here in, in Grenada. I believe that we're heading for a landslide, just like how it happened in Barbados. Mm -hmm. Because the NDC, they cannot match up with an MP no way at all. I see Deacon Mitchell as a baby to Dr. Keith Mitchell. Although they're using the Asian thing as a way to sort of highlight themselves, but that ain't gonna work. Because the youths of Grenada believe, generally, if NDC take power in Grenada, they come to throw them under the bus. And they have that in their mind. Look at, just not, just the other day, in St. George's, the, um, this liar woman, Clara Joseph, she went in court as to ask the judge to get the judge to ban the money people from the daily bread. She lost that case. Now tell me, what Clara go go and tell the people at the town of St. George, vote for her? Well, if they do vote for her, the youth's going to tell themselves if they vote for Clara, they're going to be thrown under the bus. And not only in that constituency, but throughout the whole entire country. Green Asian youths are scary of NDC. They have NDC just like the tornado that passed in Kentucky recently. So they will never put the vote behind the NDC. They have more confidence in NMP. Despite of Dr. Keith Mitchell, age just seems as a loving, caring person. A man that have Grenadian people at heart. And a man that care and concern for the whole entire nation, not only the youths, but even the ageable people too. So wait now, are you going to leave here, is it? And go behind, where is it? Grenadian people are stupid. What I believe Deacon Mitchell should do now, he should, he should retreat and, and accept defeat. Well, even in the area, when um, Kate area, Kate Louise, oh my God, what a darling. The people in, 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 in Kate area have a, as our, we have as our parliamentary icing cake, no other person than 
Kid Luis. And the guy that who want to run against her, he ain't going to be able to twist. Because I passed through the constituency yesterday and everybody, everywhere past the majority of people saying, Kate Lewis is our sweet icing cake. All right, caller, take another 30 seconds and wrap up. Good morning to you. All right, so the caller probably tapped out there. So share your thoughts Friday here on uh, K105 and the GBN TV. It's to the point, and uh, I'm offering that line to open. But, of course, uh, limit, limit it a little bit, callers. So I will recommend that you limit. Of course, don't spend that lengthy time. Of course, I know you have lots on your mind that you want to share, uh, of course, but there are other callers that, that may want to uh, participate. But the number, once again, it's uh, 435-2041. It's to the point for Friday. It's an open line, and I'm giving you that opportunity we do have another caller caller good morning how are you good morning i'm fine yes my dear go right ahead um one of the things i want the public to know is that the ndc is solid and ready to go unlike that caller who is paid by the nnp mm -hmm. to worship the god and the idol the ndc don't have to do that we are independent people we make up our mind, and the youth, huh, what he's saying there is a, is, a, is, a, is a fantasy. Maybe he's living in dreamland. The NDC, don't promise no youth, no gun, because there is no NDC to appear before the court on gun charges, on money laundering charges, on fraud charges. They are NNP. And the NDC don't go about bribing only one election with rum and money. During COVID, we were out there. We didn't go to the homes, but we put it in front of the gates because we didn't know who have COVID and who don't have. Unlike them, they were in hiding. Okay, and we continue to assist people because we're not in government, but we do it from our pockets. So, Carla, you need to rethink what you say, and you guys need to tell all your Papa God, Kit Mitchell, the $10,000 giving all you to call on radio from the Treasury buy food, solid food, and feed the people. And he could call election tomorrow if he wants. We ain't afraid. He could win a landslide if he wants. We ain't afraid. Because at the end of the day, it's Grenadians that suffering. With all we assets he sold, all we money he gave out, all the shrimp farm dying had no shrimp, all the fall farm dying had no feather, all the garden group, and all of those things that, that were there. And they can't even tell us what is the legacy that they are living after all these years. All right, Cola, yes. thanks once again for your contribution this morning. And, uh, of course, we're taking your calls, 435-2041. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned before, callers, just, just keep your, 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 of course, your concerns as short as possible and just to the point and uh, get it over with. All right? Good morning. Morning to you, man. How are you? I am doing good, sir. How are you? Not bad. I just got up, upset, really upset with that, that idiot guy that called talking this NMP nonsense. Tell him I see you better go back to school because they are very dotish. All right, Cola. Well, you're sharing, of course, your concern also, and he was actually sharing his. So I can't tell him that. Anyway, it's 20 minutes after the hour this morning here on uh, K105 and the GBN TV. It's to the point. Good morning to, uh, of course, uh, viewers via Facebook and uh, YouTube. I'm seeing loads of you, of course, sharing your concerns there also, and I will get to some of you, uh, uh, your statesmen, shortly. Good morning. How are you? Hi, good morning, and I'm uh, wishing you and your followers a, a good day. Good morning to you also, sir. Um, I don't know if folks are really paying attention, mm -hmm. but we've had roughly 5,000 new COVID-19 cases in the first 20 days of this year. Yeah, so true. That's an average of about 250 cases per day. At that rate, we'll have about 7,000 cases by the end of the month. We'll have doubled our cases in one month. And this is very serious. Um, we listen to the doctors um, a couple of days ago, and we learned that there are about 16 doctors um, who are positive. Infected. Yes, who have tested and positive. Over 30 nurses. Mm -hmm. And I mean, this is a big, big dent in our very, very limited healthcare service um, infrastructure. I'm just begging folks. I mean, it seems that to everybody will get this thing, as I said before, that. Um, 
based on the sheer numbers of cases there would be, it will affect everybody, from the youngest to the oldest. And some of the folks affected would be vulnerable and will die. And we see it happening. But at the same rate that um, it's happened with um, the Delta, but it will have death because everybody, including the vulnerable, seems as though they will be affected. But I think there is something we can do. We can try to at least slow the rate of, of infection by doing simple things. Um, like if you work in an office, um, you can limit the number of persons who have to touch that doorknob. Something as simple as this. As I was saying on a program some time ago, I went to a government office, and I went to two government offices last week. In one, no case, none of the cases did I have to enter into the building. But in both cases, I was forced to interact with the doorknob. <laughs> and it meant that everybody who came there had to do the same. Had to do the same. All right. And to me, you could have avoided that by simply having someone who sits close to the door open the door from inside. So then you're in a story area, you're in a bubble, everybody opens the door. Somebody, when you, there's a knock outside, somebody opens the door. But I was asked to open the door, and I didn't even need to come in because my query was able to be addressed because I made a deliberate effort to distance myself. All right. So to me, things like these are totally unnecessary. And if um, business places and um, government offices could, could focus on things like that, we could at least slow along the rate and don't inundate our health care providers. Because right. the more of them get sick, the more difficult it will be for those who are there to perform the duty. Something as simple as, thing, as, in, as wearing a mask and doing things like that would just help. People are saying when they, they, it's a personal choice to wear a mask or not wear a mask, but if they're not testing and they don't know whether they're positive or not, it is not a matter for them alone because they're affecting other people as well. So if we can just be a bit more um, patriotic and a bit more community conscious and do little things that could help the people on the other end, at the back end, the healthcare providers, by slowing down the rate of transmission. As obvious as it may seem that we get it, if we can slow it down, we'll give them time to regroup and to recover. And don't, we don't want us all to be positive at the same time and everybody running a hospital at the same time when the nurses and the doctors are not well. All right, so little things we can do to help, okay? All right. Thanks a whole lot for your contribution this morning. And uh, the caller is actually talking about, of course, ways in which we can help ourselves and safeguard ourselves and our families in just in case, uh, you know, where we go uh, and or things that we can do to prevent ourselves from getting the COVID-19, uh, the different variants per se. Good morning. How are you? Well, how am I? Not your business. How is your day? Well, um, uh, I don't think we're going to entertain you this morning because you're a little bit off track. It's K105. It's... Uh, uh, GBN TV, it's to the point for today. Uh, uh, it's Friday, the 21st day of uh, January 2022. And uh, let's go back to the phone lines and say good morning. Good morning, Cola. How are you? Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? To me, most people in the world, mm -hmm. especially the, um, those that do not, those that think they know, they, pre they, they believe that they are right. As far as I'm concerned, laws should be made that everybody in public wants to go out into the outside, live in your premises, should wear a mask. I'm not saying that you should, you should um, not take the vaccination or you should take it. Wear a mask because nobody could tell you how far the virus could fly or it could be airborne. Because nobody could tell you if it had wings. <laughs> All right, call that. No, and I'm serious about that. Mm -hmm. Because you see the ideas. Uh, even if we hear six feet, three feet, stay distant six feet. If we stand six feet, that means to say the virus have a tendency to die before it reaches you. So that's why they're saying six feet. Uh, that's what I, I'm assuming. All right. Well, let's take another 30 seconds and wrap up this morning. Yeah, you, let me let me wrap up too. 
And that's what I think. We have to educate the people and we have to make laws. The world that everybody in public should wear a mask. All right, Cole. Thanks for going out, out of your little own so wrong then. Thanks once again. So in your house. Thanks again, Caller, for your contribution this morning. It's K105 and at GBN TV is to the point for Friday. We drew for a short break. Let's take that break. And when we come back, we'll entertain more of your calls. And, uh, of course, you're sharing your thoughts this Friday. Uh, what's in your mind? And I beg of you once again, just keep your comments a bit short. Keep them short. Keep them short. I know some of you have lots to say, but, uh, of course, uh, you may not be able to get all of what you on your mind with every time you call in. All right. All right, let's take that break. We're coming right back. In an effort to... Get ready for a season of Grooving Smooth and Live on GBN. Grooving Smooth and Live is a one-hour performance gig every Thursday from 8 p.m. Featuring performances from our local musicians and short interviews discussing all things musical. Every Thursday, a different musician and a different instrument will be featured. To the trumpet, guitar, and steel pan, our local musicians playing, improvising, and educating us on all genres of music. Join GBN with both musicians Matthias and Shireen, and a special guest every Thursday at 8 p.m. It's Grooving Smooth and Live on GBN. Vaccines protect you and they protect me. Getting vaccinated is one of the most important things you can do to keep yourself and your family safe and healthy. Once enough people are immunized, opportunities for an outbreak of disease becomes very low. And if we all choose to get vaccinated, we contribute in getting back to spending quality time with our loved ones in a... Welcome back, welcome back. It's to the point for Friday, the 21st day of January 2022. And uh, as mentioned this morning uh, in the intro, we, we're back and we have an open line today, Friday, uh, giving callers the opportunity to call in and share their concern. Keep your comments short, please. I really will appreciate the comments are kept a bit short. Good morning, caller. Thank Good you very way. much. Uh, we'll be brief, don't worry. Listen, there was a gentleman who called in on behalf of the NNP there. Listen, that man did a perfect job. I'm telling you, that man did a perfect job, and you have to come in him on an extra because he's well trained, and he's prepared to do what they have set, what you set, to, set out to do. The only thing that bothers me is that whether or not lies is what is being, ex uh, being expressed here, or a manifestation of illiteracy. That is a serious, or maybe a combination of them both. <laughs> but let us go to the meat of the matter. Mm -hmm. As we wind down this week, brothers and sisters, I want to urge you one more thing. With 17, is it how many say 10 plus? Yes, 17 days, within three weeks, we shall be celebrating as it's established our quote-unquote 48th anniversary of independence. The greatest farce ever manifested on the people of this country. For 48 years, we've been bluffed. The time has come, or pardon, has come, for us to manifest to them that now we know what they have done to us. And they continue to do us to us shamelessly. Shamelessly. Therefore, I want to urge the people to seriously consider boycotting the so-called celebrations of independence. Boycotting it. We have, many, we have seen so far, there are certain people, according to them, so-called minister, for <clears throat> that uh, there are certain people not participate in the business community. Why? Because I reckon they, too, have been suffering financi financially. Additional to, additional to that, there may be some of them who understand and are crystally clear what have we, we've been seeing the past. And another significant thing I want the Grenadians to seriously consider that it is time for Grenadians to understand that we have to decide whether or not we wish to continue to live under an imperial order in council of the Queen's most excellent majesty or write our own constitution through a constituent assembly. Therefore, I urge the people to mobilize with the representatives to guarantee that on the next election, at the next election, on the poll paper, 
the presence of a referenda, a referendum. Question. Do you as Grenadians wish to continue to live under an imperial order in council of the Queen's most excellent majesty, or do you? And I say all, oh, because referendum questions <clears throat> today in the modern times are what are called alternative questions. They are not yes-no questions anymore. So, do you wish to live under this imperial order continuously, or do you wish to write your constituent, your, your new constitution, and so get the answer from the people? Feel them out. Feel them out. They have a duty to decide. We cannot do it otherwise, but ask them. Have the scrotal, intestinal, and voluntary fortitude, in other words, the balls, the guts, and the will, the will to ask the people. Don't be afraid. And to the constitutional gurus, I urge, come out and tell the people the truth. Have a nice weekend, will you, Mr. Telesford? All right, sir. You too. Right have a great weekend. Are. All right. That was uh, Mr. Rolo. Good morning once again, and have a great weekend. Hey, your phone calls, uh, 435 2041. It's to the point four uh, today, Friday. And uh, we, we, we're accepting your phone calls. Share your thoughts. Keep it short, please. Let's go back to the phone lines. Good morning. How are you doing, caller? Caller, good morning. See, we have a caller there that is not ready for us this morning. It could be something happening in your community that you want to share with us this morning. Uh, something maybe of a, a positive nature uh, that, that you, you may see that, of course, individual in your community are probably benefiting from it. And yeah, you say you, you probably want to share. Probably it's, it's, it's something that has been kept on the law for some reason. You have, uh, uh, maybe who isn't getting involved. They may not want that, that, that hype of a publicity about it. So you want to share that. We certainly will accept your calls and uh, to, of course, uh, mention such activity taking place in your community. Uh, but you also have the opportunity to uh, share your thoughts. Good morning. Welcome to The Point for Friday. Good morning, young man. Good morning. Um, I am curious. Eh? I know that the COVID numbers are recorded on the basis of the positivity in the blood with this virus. Mm -hmm. So you can add the daily amounts. I would like to know what examination is used to determine people's overcoming the virus or having the virus no more. That is, they were tested positive and now they are negative. Is any test or examination undertaken to determine the absence of the virus from a previously infected person before you start subtracting the numbers? Or is it just based on an assumption that the virus is likely to last in you for a number of days, and after a number of days, automatically you are removed on the list? This is, I don't have much sense. I'm a very stupid person. But sometimes all kind of things make me more stupid and more confused, okay? All right, the go next on. thing I want to point out to, mm -hmm. I don't want to stick long. Now, in Grenada, there are a number of persons who seem to be very, rather enthused with the new leadership of the National Democratic Congress. And I, I, I sympathize with them, I understand them. Now, Grenada's election results has always been infected and infested with irregularities, either bribes or misuse of the electoral list or transfers from one constituency to the other to facilitate the win for the incumbent. And I am very, very sad. And I hope that the court will never declare any election results, if there is any matter of irregularity lost in the court as it, as, it retain, remain, as, as it relates to election malpractices. Because there are some instances when the, a government 
who is a defendant in court with election malpractices, they go into, into, into office and five years the matter isn't called. And five years they spend the entire five-year term and the matter isn't called in court. This isn't justice. I believe the court should block any declaration of results until the matter is heard and judgment is given. And the final thing, the final thing, I don't call often. In Grenada, you have two types of people. You have patriots, some people say patriots. I don't stand for the word, but what I'm saying, I believe people understand what I'm saying. You have patriots, and you have patriots. Now, patriots, I think you can spell the word. Patriots is P-A-R-T-Y. OTS. And this is equivalent or synonymous, synonymous with the word idiot. When you are a patriot, you think about the party. You are tied to the party. It is in your DNA. And no amount of reasoning, thinking, or, co or realistic conditions can change you because you are patriot. And I think Grenada is experiencing a bulk of patriots, patriots that creates a problem for getting the right people to put in parliament. All right, Thank Carla. you. Thank you, Carla. Thank you for your call this morning and uh, the thoughts that you shared. Uh, I, of course, uh, observed uh, one of the, the statements that you, the caller made from, from the inception pertaining to uh, uh, the uh, how do they come about knowing the folks who have recovered. And uh, maybe one of these mornings we could actually get uh, someone from the uh, Ministry of Health who probably could share that information in terms of how they know the numbers of recovery. They are, it's, it's always been on the, the COVID, uh, of course, updates on a daily basis, folks have recovered. But, of course, uh, we would like to know how they come about with those numbers, knowing how people, folks have recovered. Is it some folks are calling and say, well, I, I am better or I've been tested again. And, and, and that's how they find out that these individuals are, uh, are, have recovered. So it's, 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 a, it's a fairly fear. Uh, I thought, to, to, of course, uh, from the caller to, to find out how that happens. Good morning, caller. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, and good morning to you. Good morning. Um, I would like you to make a special appeal to the bus drivers and conductors, the number seven buses that ply that area, especially those in the Lamode St. George area. Ask them, please, to wear their masks. I'm begging you. Every once in a while during your program, I would like you to make that appeal because I am a senior citizen along with other senior citizens in the area. And it's not safe, it's not wise, and it's very uncomfortable for us because we have our little underlying illnesses. I want you to, I want to beg you to ask them to wear the mask, please. So do we have that. to go and do our little business we're not homebound, but it is sad, it is sickening to be on the buses with these drivers, and some of them. There's one in particular, he's very particular about his bus, his conductor and the passengers and his bus, but the others, oh my God. Say a word for us in the Lamode St. George area, please. Okay, caller, thank you. I will certainly do that. All right. All right. And that caller is making an appeal for uh, drivers of buses, especially in the area that she mentioned. And all drivers in in, in, in the various uh, zones, especially where the buses are run, and she's calling for, uh, of course, strict mandate that you wear masks, both driver and uh, and a conductor. If you do have a conductor on your bus, encourage him to wear masks. And you, as a, a folks who use the bus, please wear your mask on, on entering. Because I, I too, am seeing folks on buses and are not wearing the mask. And I'm wondering if the driver and conductor is even uh, applying the rules in terms of telling them, hey, wear your mask. Wear your mask. Let's go over to the phone line once again. Good morning. Welcome to the point. How are you morning. doing? Good morning. You're a very bad guy. I wish you all the luck in the world. 
I'm a very bad guy. How did I get that title for say? Anyway, <laughs> good morning to you. What have I done this morning to anyone? Anyway, 20 minutes moving up before the top of the hour here on the K105. It's to the point four. Uh, Friday, uh, the 21st day of January 2022. I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad guy. Ooh. Not a nice title, uh, anyway. Hey, folks, don't forget the opportunity to share your thoughts this morning, share your thoughts, your concern, and uh, we certainly are allowing you to do that. Good morning. How are you doing, caller? Good morning. Good morning, sir, and thank you for taking my call. Sure, go right ahead. I am a first caller, but I had to this morning. Can you please... Ask the Ministry of Health, why is it that they're not giving the full numbers of the affected persons in Grenada? Thank you. All right. Why are we not, why are the, the Ministry of Health not giving the full numbers of the affected people in Grenada? Ah, that's, that's, that could be a, a bit ticklish in my opinion. You know, um, would they, would the folks who are positive or affected, would they, would they like folks just calling in them to, to find out uh, about their, for them, that might be of a private nature. So that's just my take on it. Just my take. I'm not sure if you are positive or you're affected per se, would you like someone to have your number calling you? So it's a bit of a concern about that. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I just want to encourage Canadians as per usual to recognize that we are living in very perilous times, times that the Bible speaks about that will happen. And it's not going to get better because this is a scene at the time when Satan is in, he has impersonated some rulers of the world. And they are just doing things that are not godly but satanic. And this is a time that Grenadians in particular, we need to pray, not only pray for ourselves, but pray for the world and pray that God, you know, many people will turn to Christ because the only hope for us is in Christ Jesus. We have to pray for those who put in themselves to, for, for leadership because we do not know their belief. Not 90% of them believe in going to the devil for power, going to the devil for wealth, going to the devil for what they want, and they are the ones that are pushing themselves forward. So we need to guard as God to have mercy on Grenada. Turn Grenadians' heart to him and Grenadians pray and turn to God. Thank All right, you. All right, Carla, thank you very much for, of course, uh, what you shared this morning. Hope everyone will take heed to it. It's uh, To The Point 4. Today, Friday, uh, end of the week, it's the final edition of To The Point 4 this particular week. And uh, hopefully next week we'll have uh, uh, more, another edition or more editions coming up for you. I'm a bad guy. Hey, good morning. Listen, Mr. Telesford, your penultimate caller, they requested a question of the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. Is it, what is it he really, I'd like him to call back. Is it the phone numbers or the full numbers? Well, I that's, call that's, that's, what, I was, that that's what I was I'm trying confused. to figure out myself. I was trying I'm, to figure out. Confused. I was trying to figure that out myself. Anyway, let's let's move on. It's uh, to the point for Friday, and uh, the uh, number you call if you want to be part of the uh, program this morning in terms of sharing your thoughts is four three five two zero four one four three five two zero four one. Let's go back to the phone line. Good morning. How are you? How are you doing, brother? Good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I thought for the last caller, we need to uh, we need to preach some more. Let's pray the best thing for mankind. Mm -hmm. And uh, but yesterday I was on a program, and uh, there was a caller on the program, and the caller said that um, basically, NMP people are wicked people, and they will go in the bottomless pit. You know that's in hell for voting for NMP. So I was the question, is my brother a wicked man? Is my sister a wicked woman? I don't find so. I love my sister, I love my brother. So I'm just saying that we that follow politics, we try a little bit better and realize that it's just politics. Don't get too deep or too passionate because it can cost you a lot. My second point is that uh, with Lincoln Mitchell, you asked him a question about SGU, or well, somebody called him and asked a question about that. And um, he tried to go around the question and give a long, long answer. 
But it's as simple as that. You cannot be supporting a company or representing a company that supports mandatory vaccination. Mandatory vaccination. And then telling the public you don't support that. It just doesn't work like that money when you're in, in politics. You're supposed to be, you know, basically don't flip club. So, yeah, the company is here, you say that you represent them, you know, against the workers. And then you're going to side and say you don't support that. It's basically you flip club on a simple issue like that. So, we need to be firm as one of the politicians and have a one track mind, not stopping all over the place. All right, Cola. Thanks for your contribution this morning. Let's get 105. It's to the point. Uh, GBN TV, good morning to those of you viewing via the various uh, social media platforms, uh, whether it's uh, via Facebook or via YouTube. Uh, thanks for being part of it this morning. It's to the point for Friday. Uh, open line. I encourage you to share your thoughts. And uh, lots of, of uh, individuals are calling and sharing their thoughts this morning. Let's go back to the lines once again. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I just want to share one thought this morning, and I hope people listen and understand that. When we say we believe something, you're actually saying you do not know. Knowing and belief is too different, because if you know, you don't have to believe. So I wish people pay attention to that. When they say they believe something, you don't know it. And the best thing is to know it. And if you know it, you don't have to believe. Thank you. Thank you, Cola. Yeah, that's a, a, a relatively fair uh, statement there. If you uh, know something, you don't have to believe it because once you believe, there's no there's no sense of knowing it anymore because you believe it. Understandable there. It's to the point four. We have at least uh, 10 more minutes left on the show this morning. Uh, let's take another break. And uh, when we come back, uh, we accept a couple more of your calls. And then we come to a close here on the, the program, folks. It's uh, K105 uh, and GBN TV, another edition of uh, uh, To The Point for today, Friday. So let's take that break, pretty short one, and then we come back with uh, some more of your calls this morning. We're coming right back. You're already. Vaccines protect you and they protect me. Getting vaccinated is one of the most important things you can do to keep yourself and your family safe and healthy. Once enough people are immunized, opportunities for an outbreak of disease becomes very low. And if we all choose to get vaccinated, we contribute in getting back to spending quality time with our loved ones in a safe way. Choose to get vaccinated. Vaccines bring us closer. This is a message from the Ministry of Health. If you or a family member suspect that you may have contracted COVID-19 and are displaying symptoms, please immediately self-isolate at home. This means that you must also avoid all contact with other members of your household. Do not visit hospitals or health centers as this creates the potential for further spread of the virus and it puts additional persons at risk when you come into contact with them. Your best course of action is to call the COVID-19 hotline at 458-4787 or 538 538-4787. Independence, the countdown per se is on towards uh, Independence uh, 2022. Yep. So we're back uh, here on uh, To The Point for today, Friday. Uh, roughly uh, 10 minutes or so left on the uh, show this morning. And it's still that open line for you callers, uh, of course, listeners and viewers out there. Uh, yes, you can call in and uh, share your thoughts, uh, various issues that are of concern to you. Whether it's the, the COVID situation in Grenada, uh, the, the road situation. Uh, I keep mentioning, uh, still not getting in that positive feedback from individuals pertaining to activities that are happening in their uh, communities that they think they would like to share. It's to the point for today, Friday. And of course, we, we listened shortly uh, a while ago to that uh, 
commercial hours play pertaining to independence and uh, the various activities that are coming up. Good morning, caller. How are you? Good morning, good morning, caller. Good morning, brother. Sorry for that. Good morning, brother. Good morning to you. How are you doing? The master board just quiet. That's good. Share. Right. Tell us now what's, what's, what you want to share with us this morning. Yes, a very simple um, explanation. If, there, if I don't believe there is a God, would I accept him as a God, as my God? If I don't believe there is a God, would I accept him as my Savior? If my mom told me, this gentleman is my father, and I don't, and I don't believe he's my father, would I accept him as my father? I guess not. We have to be very, very careful in statement. God once said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And we have to be very careful. Don't try to fool people. If I don't believe, I would accept all right. Thank you very much. Have a good morning. As we move on here on uh, K105 and the GBN TV is to the point, uh, the final uh, program for this particular week. And uh, it's open line uh, where you're encouraged to uh, call in and share your thoughts. And uh, maybe you have a particular idea about something that you think would be of a uh, uh, positive result to, to help this nation of ours do so. Good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning. So I'm doing good. Yourself? Yes, I'm doing all right. Um, like you are referring to, we are about to celebrate our 50th anniversary. It's 40th for this year, and uh, pretty soon. Uh, 40th, we'll sorry. For, yeah, I, I guess I'm going ahead of myself. <laughs> so right. in, in the next two years, we'll be 50. Yes. When I was growing up, there used to be a program coming from Radio Barbados called 50 Years Ago Today. And I have, I have raised that in my local, with speaking locally with people, but I'm, 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 I think I heard it on the, in the station already too. I'm saying it again. So after we celebrate our 40th, in the next two years we'll be 50. Yes. And I, I don't know, probably you may be able to share. I keep asking, what will we be showing for 50 years? as a nation. I think that we, we need to ponder on this, and I think the, the powers that be need to, to, to consolidate the views, the ideas, as, because I still feel we need to be able to showcase something on our 50th, and I, I, I don't see it yet. So this is something I am putting out, that all who here, those who are, who are part of this celebration and those who are in a position, you never know by the time we are 50. We might have another administration there. And this is something about the de democracy, too, as compared to the other countries that are so-called more developed, where we do not share this, this stuff, so we know where we're going. So at 50, I, I want us to propose something that we can garner, we can all um, unite around, so that when we are 50, we can, we can showcase this and say, this is one of the things we have achieved, having attained 50 years of independence. Have a good day now, sir. You too, sir. Have a great day. So do you understand where the caller is coming from? Uh, you know, we could start documenting or someone could could start putting together all that has happened in the last couple of years leading up to our 50th anniversary of independence. And uh, probably when we do get to 50, uh, you know, it could be, of course, presented. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, I'd like to be the last caller. I so hope I can. Um, some time ago, the Prime Minister of Barbados this is the Grenada. <clears throat> Can't remember the occasion. But she said that she did ask the Grenadian Prime Minister what must she do to win all the seats and to be more you know, to be there two or three times consecutively. So I would like to know what he told her. But I really hope that she and go sell she told to be there will she won't sell to the devil to oppress the Babylonian people. All right, the one today. Thank you. Have a good day yourself. All right, folks, and uh, we're moving up uh, to just around five more minutes before we close off uh, to the point four of this particular week. It's been an interesting week uh, thus far in terms of. Uh, uh, the program we did had the 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 leader of the uh, the of course national democratic congress in uh, we had the the police that we should chat with and uh, we had uh, of course uh, during the course of this week also we did have the post capital press briefing in which the uh, various uh, folks from the ministry of health spoke about the issues pertaining to the corona and then everything else of health nature in on island and uh, we are taking your calls this morning good morning caller how are you greetings greetings brother chi how are you i am doing great with the last um, program. Yes, I'm happy as usual to be successful to, to get your connection. It's very difficult to get you. And as usual, 
others have concerns, but I rushed to the line because when I heard the caller make reference to in the next two years, we are going to achieve 50 years of independence. And in a nutshell, he's concerned. What would we say then in terms of our achievement? And the point remains, civic society, the government, the present administration, political parties, and especially the NDC, the main opposition party, should have spearheaded some form of sovereign project about two years ago, leading up to a climax, 50 years. It shows what value we place and how serious we are as persons who want to be our leaders. Now, Brother Rolo has been talking about the Constitution. And even now, I'm also blaming your radio station. I'm not hearing anything concretely enough to educate the people, especially young people, about our pathway to independence. The point remains, which I have it on my mind, when Grenada went through something for the first time, unprecedented, and we were somewhat, you know, young in it, that talking about the constitutional referendum in 2016, then because of selfish, um, secret reasons, they repeated it in 2018. I can recall clearly that the NDC, in their more or less um, discussion on the issue, made a point, and her plan was to raise this issue even in my writings, but I'm glad as the caller raised it. That it would be nice as a gift to have for the 50th anniversary a new independence, I mean a new um, constitution. Within the framework as presented by our dear brother, Brother Rulu, in a constituent assembly person. In other words, what I'm saying, two or three years from back before now, we should have started the process of genuine education, open university, and to evaluate our achievement over the nearly 50 years. What are we going to do in transforming our people for the next 50 years, if possible? And this initiative should have been taken on by the main opposition party. So now we have people talking about the election coming and trivial, simple, superficial, cosmetic things, ordinary things they're talking about. And the substantial issue about our development, it is left off. So we will continue going with this constitution with all its deficiencies and loopholes and make ourselves being enslaved and en well, enslaved by foreign people under the CBI, the foreign institutions as the IMF, and we continue to be subservient, neocolonialism, and our country and people going down. What is progress? And they will come to us and say, the price of progress is high in their terminology. I am saying, civil society, along with Brother Rulu, let us come out at Lady Color Call. Let us, it's not too late, it's late, but not very late, for the main opposition party and other political forces. Let us design a project in going forward for our people, to, our young people to understand the struggle for independence and to have a new constitution. And I applaud Brother Rolo. Let us put on the ballot paper and the, and the campaign trail the whole idea. Do we de con decide to continue with what we have or do we need a new constitution? Let us start the process, pick up, pick up a project. And don't let trivial matters such as what happened in Barbados because they go under a Republican to say because of that we have to do it too. Let us understand the significance and the, the, the significant changes it will bring to our psyche, to our people, to our culture, to our education, and into our future. But not forgetting the, the power, the presence, and our responsibility to God the Almighty. Even our Constitution and, and our pledge make reference that in all things, respect and honor God as we go forward. Because without Him, Without him, with all the efforts that we're doing, it will be waste. And I think the last caller before me, the caller before me talk about going outside of the, 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 the godly spirit.
spiritual realm. Let us not do things outside of this almighty God, creator God. Let us, all we're doing being in his name, or as our effort in any other name, in any other spirit, will be for now looking, look, looking bright. But at the end, it will be destruction. Let us put our hearts and hands together in Jesus' name and purify our souls and make preparation, not only for this world, for the world to come. Thank you very much. All right, caller, thank you very much. And that's our final caller for this morning. And that uh, is also where we come to the end of the show uh, for today. And uh, it's been a pleasure being around here, with, of course, hosting it for you for this particular week. Uh, all the best. I want to thank all the callers who uh, participated for uh, the week when we did have the actual uh, call-in segments. And uh, our guests who were part of the program during the course of this week also. So thank you once again. That's where we come to the end of another edition of To The Point for this week week. Uh, join us again next week when we have another program coming up. Saying goodbye to our listeners uh, via Facebook and uh, YouTube listeners and viewers via Facebook and YouTube and those of you also via GBN TV. And those of you listening via K105 uh, thank you so much. Until next week, it's why I say peace out. Have yourself a great day today and uh, a great weekend also. Have a great day. I'm out of here. Hey.